Now in section 2.6, we'll look at uh, relative difference or relative error, and we'll also do a little bit more complicated dimensional analysis. So after moving into a new house, a couple wants to have a concrete patio pour to support the hot tub. All right, so the plans call for 14 feet by 16 feet slab, but it's going to be four inches thick. Round any calculations to two decimal places. How many cubic feet of concrete will be needed? All right, so that's going to be 16 feet. They say it's 14 by 16. But it's going to be 4 inches thick. So are you, uh, we, can't, we can't put a 4 here because that's 4 inches, and that's feet, and that's feet, and that's feet. So we can either change it all to feet or change it all to inches. And since the question is asking for feet, let's change it all to feet. So volume is going to be length times width times height. So in other words, that's going to be 16 feet times 14 feet. OK, so 4 inches. We don't want inches. We want feet. Remember how we did this? We multiply by 1. We need a fraction that if inches are in the numerator here, we want inches in the denominator here. And there are 12 feet in one, I'm sorry, there are 12 inches in one foot. So now our inches cancel and we multiply across. So that's going to be 4 feet over 12. 4 over 12 is the same as 1 third foot. So this dimension, rather than saying 4 inches, we're going to say it's 1 third of a foot. So 14 times 16 times 1 third, when you multiply everything out, that's going to be 74.67. Cubic feet. Seventy-four point six seven cubic feet of concrete. But now the second question says convert the volume to cubic yards. So let's do this. Seventy-four point six seven feet times feet times feet. That's cubic feet, right? Feet times feet times feet. And we want our answer to be cubic yards. So we're going to need to multiply by three fractions that have feet in the denominator, but have yards in the numerator. Why three? Well, I need, here's a foot in the numerator. I need a foot in the denominator for those to cancel. Same for these two to cancel. Same for these two to cancel. All right, so we know that one yard has three feet. One yard has three feet. One yard has three feet. Get rid of the foot in the numerator and denominator. Get rid of the foot in the numerator and the denominator. Get rid of the foot in the numerator and denominator. And I am left with, in my numerator, 74.67 yard times yard times yard. It's cubic yards. And in my denominator, 3 times 3 times 3, is 27. So 74.67 divided by 27 is our answer in cubic yards is 2.77 cubic yards. Let me go ahead and circle the answers here so you can see it. <clears throat> cubic feet, cubic yards. Now here it says, the coolest thing about ordering ready mix concrete is that the concrete mix is going to mixer is going to show up right at your house. But most companies require orders by the cubic yard. OK, so 2.77 cubic yards. We can't ask them for 2.77, that exact amount. So we're going to change this estimate to 3 cubic yards. All right, we want to make sure that this concrete mixer brings enough concrete. So how much extra concrete was ordered? We ordered 3, and we only needed 2.77. So 3 minus 2.77, 0.23 cubic yards 
extra. So they're bringing a little extra concrete, but at least we won't run out and we have to order it in the, in the whole cubic yard numbers. So number four, find the percent error in the estimate compared to the actual amount. Now they're saying error like they made a mistake. They didn't make a mistake. We could also call this the relative difference or the relative error, percent error. And it's always the um, difference of the two numbers divided by the first number. That's our difference means subtraction. So they want us to find the percent error estimate between the estimate to the actual. That's the first number that's the second number. Write a sentence explaining what the relative error means. Actually, um, we're not going to use the estimate as the denominator. We're going to say the at, we came up with the actual first. So the actual was first and then we came up with the estimate. We should use the actual as the real number that we know because that is the number that we know. That is actually how, uh, what is needed for this, what is needed for this um, <coughs> patio. So the actual was, we need 2.77 cubic yards and we estimated three yards. So what's the difference? Three minus 2.77 over 2.77, that's actually what we need. So 3 minus 2.77 divided by 2.77 is 0 0.0830. But they didn't ask for the error, they asked it for percent error. So remember what we do to change to percent? We move the decimal over to and add the percent sign. So the relative difference or the error basically 8.3 percent more concrete was ordered than one was needed. Now in 2016 an average cost for concrete was $140 per cubic yard How much would be spent for this patio? Well, $140 for every cubic yard, and we ordered three cubic yards, three times 140. So we paid, or they paid, $420 for their three cubic yards. Now, as you know, they didn't use it all, right? So they paid for a little bit extra They paid for a little bit extra concrete that they didn't actually use. Find the dollar value of the wasted concrete. In our previous example, we saw that the amount wasted was 0.23 cubic yards. 0.23 cubic yards was wasted. So, 0.23 of 140 is, of that $420, really $32.20 was kind of wasted. $32.20 was wasted on this little bit of concrete that we didn't actually need. That's basically just the cost of doing business.